With the International Rice Festival approaching, local business owners in Crawley are gearing up for the occasion. I'm Jay Malbro, your Katy Parish reporter in Crawley at a local coffee shop that will be serving more than just coffee during the International Rice Festival. So I start preparing for this for about a month before festival comes. Alicia Broussard, owner of the Vanilla Bean Coffee Shop in Crawley, will be participating in the Rice Festival for the eighth year. Alicia says preparation for her is a little different since her business is on Main Street where the festival is held. We have the opportunity to be able to um, run our regular coffee shop cafe during the day and then come five o'clock we switch everything over, have a whole new crew that comes in and we turn into kind of like a bar. Alicia tells me right now is crunch time for her business. She and co-workers are working after hours to ensure they will have enough food and drinks. I have a crew of girls that come to my house and we start doing all of that and yesterday was Jello Shot Day and we made um, half of our batch which was about 700 of them and we have another 700 to go. Alicia has a little extra on hand each year so that she can stay well stocked for her customers. Every year we make a little bit um, over of what we estimate um, and then I take the numbers from the previous year and make almost double. Even though the vanilla bean will offer more food and drinks than normal, Alicia tells me the price will remain reasonable so people will support her local business. Right now it's really big on supporting local. We can't stay here if, you know, then nobody supports the local people. For more information on the International Rice Festival, be sure to head over to KTC.com. Reporting in Crawley, your Katie Parish reporter, Jay Malbro, KTC TV3.